All right. So in this video, I want to talk about why uh, selling on Amazon FBA as a complete beginner is a bad idea. And while yes, there are people making millions and millions selling on Amazon, there's many, many, many more people, but specifically the Amazon FBA, uh, which I'll explain to you what that is in a minute if you're not fully sure. Uh, why most people as a beginner, why they completely fail. So um, first of all, Amazon FBA, what is it? So it stands for Fulfilled by Amazon. So um, if you don't know what that is, you basically, you, you buy inventory, you buy stock, and you ship it all to the Amazon warehouse, and um, Amazon kind of send it for you. So all you, all you have to do, you have to order the stock, send it to Amazon, they do all the shipping, they deal with, with the returns, they hold all the inventory for you. So, um, sounds great, sounds perfect. You don't, you don't need space for your stock, you don't have to deal with shipping. It, it kind of sounds perfect, but is it? And um, as a beginner, most people fail miserably. So um, first of all, how the Amazon Marketplace works is that um, everybody kind of shares the same listing. On eBay, you make a listing, you get your own page. If you're um, on Amazon, if it's the same product, then you share the same listing. And the person that gets the buy now button is the person who sells the cheapest, for the most part. You have to be an Amazon Prime as well, uh, which means that it has to be fulfilled by the Amazon warehouse. So you've got to do the FBA anyway. And, um, and then after that, you've got to be the cheapest. Uh, if you're not the cheapest, you're gonna go down and down and down. And then what happens, people just compete to the bottom. Mr. A is going to go cheaper, and Mr. B is going to go cheaper, and Mr. A is going to go cheaper, and Mr. C, D, E, F, G. Everybody under the sun is going to go cheaper, and it's going to be a race to the bottom. Just a big competition to see who can sell the cheapest. And in the end, nobody's going to make any money. Everybody's going to operate at a loss. And um, obviously, we're going into this business not to make a loss. We want to succeed. But you know, you could you could make the listing. You could find a new product, for example. You could build your listing. You set it all up, you put the photos in, you do all the titles and the descriptions, you make all your listing. Uh, somebody else comes along with the same product and just lists it under your listing. You'll do it a little bit cheaper and now he's gonna be at the top and he's gonna make all the sales. Then you're gonna come along and you're gonna go cheaper. Then he's gonna go cheaper. Then more people are gonna jump in and they're gonna go cheaper. And in the end, you're gonna be selling at less uh, than what you're making. And by the way, Amazon fees are high. You, you pay a high percentage, so you have to sell the product at such a high price uh, to even make any any profit at all so when you're playing these competitions and you're racing to the bottom uh, you're just going to miserably fail no nobody's going to make any money at all there is actually one thing that you can do to get your own listing and that is to sell a unique product that no one else has and in order to do that it has to be your own product so a little shortcut with that is that you could uh, you could get white label products from China and um, basically what that is, it's a product without a brand name and then you get them to put your branding on it, your packaging uh, because it's got your, your name on it and it's your logo, nobody else can copy you. Uh, now you have your own, uh, your own specific item that you can now make a listing, nobody else can copy. The problem is, the problem is, is that if you're gonna get your, your own name put onto these products, your own brand names put on there, and the Chinese manufacturers are gonna make all of their, you know, they're gonna do all the packaging for you, they're gonna put all your own branding on there, they're gonna want you to buy a lot of these items. You can't just go in and buy one or two of these, you're gonna to have to buy like a thousand to two thousand dollars worth of inventory, roughly, maybe more, uh, to make it worthwhile for the Chinese manufacturers to put your logo on it and, and to mess about doing all that. So it's gonna cost you minimum of a grand, uh, probably a lot more. You're probably gonna be looking at a couple of grand at least worth of stock inventory. So you get all that done, uh, you get it all made, you put your couple of grand in, uh, you send it all to the Amazon warehouse, which by the way, is quite difficult to set up. 
it's not that easy. So once it's all set up, it's not too bad, it's quite easy. Once you're up and running and you're going. But anyway, so you've got all your inventory, you've got all your packaging on there, you've got all your logos, your branding, everything on your product, and you now ship it to the Amazon FBA warehouse, which by the way, you can get the China man to ship it directly from China, directly to Amazon. So it saves you sort of having to be in the middle anywhere. It sounds perfect. But now, unless you really know what you're doing, you're competing against millions of other people that have been doing this for years and, and really know what they're doing. So the chances that your product's gonna be successful is like, you're probably gonna fail. More than likely, you're gonna fail. The chances is that your first product's gonna be successful is very low. <laughs> So what I, was, what I was saying was the chances of your product succeeding is almost zero. Uh, so you're probably gonna fail. And then, and then what you need to do is you have to pay Amazon storage fees. So while your product's sitting there not selling, you're paying Amazon storage fees, which is mounting up every week, every day, every month. It's mounting up, mounting up, mounting up. And then in the end, if you can't sell it, you're gonna have to pay them to ship it back to you or you have to pay them to, to chuck it away, to skip it, throw it in the trash, in the bin. And, um, which is fine, you know, in, in business, you don't always succeed straight away. Sometimes you've got to try things a couple of times. But if you're a complete beginner, can you really risk investing a thousand to two thousand pounds or dollars? Uh, and it's probably not gonna work. So then you've got to try the whole lot again. You go through the whole scenario again, you find a new product, you talk to the Chinese people, and um, you do the whole lot again, and you fail, and you fail, and you keep doing it, and you keep failing, and you keep failing. You could be 10 to $20,000 in, and there's still no guarantee that you're gonna succeed. And then on top of that, if you just list the product onto Amazon, the chances that you're gonna succeed is almost zero. Uh, there's going to be so many other people that, that pay Amazon to promote the listing and to rank it up. So pretty much, oh, it's getting a bit bumpy, let's put it into the comfort mode. So um, what you need to do, you've got to pay Amazon to sponsor your listing, which boosts it up the rankings. And that gets very expensive. So maybe you've got to do paid ads, because in order for your item to get to page one in Amazon, you've got to make a lot of sales. And in order to make a lot of sales from the back, because when you first put your product on there, you're going to be right down the bottom of the heap and you've got to work your way up the ranks. That's going to cost you a lot of money. You've got to sell it at a loss. You're going to have to pay for ads. You're going to have to pay for, uh, for Amazon sponsorships. And you're going to have to pay so much money to get your item uh, up the top of the ranks. I'm not going to go into it all here. It's, it's so involved and um, it's very expensive. And you're probably going to operate at a loss for like many, many items for, for a long time before you make any profit. So um, if, you know, if you're a newbie, and I don't know how how hard you work for your money. I mean, I used to have crappy jobs. I used to work in a factory and um, it used to take me like, oh God, to earn, to earn a couple of grand over a month. You know, I used to earn on average on my jobs probably 1,500 pounds a month, maybe $2,000 a month. And obviously you need that money to live. So I don't know how long it takes you to save up, but, um, you know, if you're going to put your life savings into this and you're probably going to fail, I would seriously reconsider and think twice about it. Uh, now, if on the other hand, you already have a business, say you're selling on eBay, which is by the way, where one of the main businesses that I do is selling on eBay. Uh, the beauty of eBay is that you can just buy one item from China one item, it could cost as little as a dollar delivered, shipped to your door. And you can list that, put it on your eBay account, and you get your own listing. You don't need to put your own brand name on it. You get your own listing. You get your own space. Nobody else can hijack your space. That space is yours. So, um, you know, you're not competing with other people to be the cheapest. And it's a lot easier to rank. There's a lot less competition on eBay. It's a lot easier to rank. And you're only risking a dollar. You know, so, yeah, obviously some products are more, but you can just buy one item. You can buy one first and see how well it sells. See how well it does. If it does well, then you can sell more. You can buy more, maybe buy two or three, and then four or five, maybe 10. And then if it really proves to be a hot selling item, then maybe you can buy hundreds at a time. But you're only risking a very small amount. You're only risking one or two dollars a time. Uh, with Amazon, every time you try a new product, you're risking thousands. 
And how many thousands are you willing to put in the pot until you succeed? And I, I would say, you know, as a complete beginner, if you work hard for your money, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna feel soul destroying and crushing that you're gonna be putting all your life savings into this and, it, and you keep failing and failing and failing and there's no guarantee when you're gonna succeed. You could be 20, 30, 40, 50 attempts in until you hit a good product. You know, some people hit it off the bat, you know, maybe a couple of products in, but for the most part, you're gonna be at a minimum 10 products in, 10 to $20,000 in, with still zero guarantee that you're gonna succeed. So here's, here's what I recommend to you. I don't, I don't take financial advice from me, you know, I'm not qualified to legally give you financial advice. But here's what I would do, here's the advice that I would give to myself. First, start with something that's a lot higher success rate. So uh, for me, that's eBay. For me, out of all the different businesses that I've tried, eBay gave me the quickest success. And um, so I would start on something where like, it's low risk, you haven't got to put much money in, and you've got a higher chance of success. And you can scale it up. There's people making millions and millions and millions selling on eBay. I've, I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars selling on eBay. I've, I've made over a million dollars worth of sales on eBay now. And um, there's companies like Argos, which is one of the biggest retail stores in the UK, they sell on eBay. So you're never gonna to be too big to sell on eBay, but it's perfect for a beginner to get started on. Now the drawback with eBay, you have gotta ship out the stuff yourself. Amazon are not gonna fulfill it for you. You know, with Amazon FBA, they do all the shipping, but that's a lot more difficult to set up. When you do the shipping yourself, it's easy. So you can start off. You can start off with, with um, shipping the items out yourself on eBay. You can start making some decent money with eBay. I mean, I've helped hundreds of people now set up successful eBay stores. I've got people making five, 10, you know, $20,000 a month uh, by selling stuff on eBay. And now, now that you're making easy money, now you can invest some of that money into something a bit more risky like Amazon. And you know, maybe you can try a product a month. So you put one or $2,000 into, into your Amazon store, but it's easy money. It's not, you haven't, like, it's not your life savings. You haven't worked hard for it. So you can now lose it. So for me, you know, I'm making easy money now on eBay. It's not difficult, you know. You know, I'm not saying that to brag. I'm not saying it to show off. But the money comes easy for me now on eBay. And if I lose a grand or a couple of grand or even 10 grand, it's, it's no big deal to me, you know. And the same for you, you know, if you're making easy money selling on eBay, maybe, you know, everybody's different. Maybe you won't make 10 grand a month. Maybe you'll make 100 grand a month. Maybe you'll make nothing. Everybody's different. It all depends how hard you work, how much effort you put in. And it all kind of depends what you do. And, and your willingness to learn. There's no guaranteed success with anything. You know, everybody's different. If you go to college and you study to be a doctor, university, there's no guarantee that you're gonna end up being a doctor. So there's, there's never, never a guarantee. Never can anybody ever guarantee you any success. So what you need to do, you need to find something that has proven to work for other people. Uh, and, then, and then do a bit of research and see if if um, how viable it is for beginners to make this kind of business work. Do a bit of research and then look into it and maybe give it a go. But um, you know, when you're first starting out and you haven't got much money to play with or you don't want to risk your life savings, I would, I would start with something where it's very low risk, you can invest a very small amount of money. If it doesn't work, you haven't lost much. Uh, and you can, you know, you might take five, 10, 20 products before you've sort of, sort of get the hang of it and you start making money. But if you're only spending a couple of dollars every time, it's no big deal. So uh, that is it for this video. But what I have got, I've got a couple of eBay programs. So I've got a free one and I've got a paid for one. Now the free eBay program, that's gonna, it's gonna get you going selling on eBay. It's gonna get you going opening up your account, building feedback. Uh, it's gonna get your PayPal account open. It's gonna sort of, I'll go through with you how to sell on eBay, how to list your products. Uh, where you can get some products from, and um, how you do the shipping and how you deal with all your customers. So it's kind of like the bare bones, how to get started on eBay as a complete beginner. And that is fully free, 100% free. Uh, I'm gonna put a link to that down below. I usually charge a bit of money for this little program, but I'm gonna give it to you for free. So I'm gonna put a link down below, jump in on there, get it for free, and, and give it a go. Now, if you're really serious about getting this eBay thing to work, then I've made an 11 step blueprint where I'll share all my secrets because it took me a few years 
to figure out how to be successful on eBay. I've spent about $50,000 on, on trying different things and I was winning and failing and winning and I've tried many different things and what I've figured out was that there are 11 things that you have to get right in order to succeed on eBay. And you get one of these wrong, you're really gonna struggle to make any sales. So um, uh, I've put this program together and in that program I'll share everything, everything that I've learned all my secrets and everything that I've taught to all my other students, you're gonna get in that program. Uh, also, I'm gonna chuck in a 100% free photography course because I'm in the main program, I'll go over how to do photos and how to, how to edit them and everything, uh, but a few people struggled a little bit, so I made a whole entire program just about making photos, and it's super easy if you know how. You can just use your smartphone, your cell phone. Uh, super, super easy. Uh, you can get professional looking results with just amateur equipment, stuff you've already got. So that's a whole program there that I'm chucking in. Also, uh, if ever you struggle along the way, there's a Facebook group. And um, you can always jump in on that Facebook group. If you get stuck, uh, there's over 100 people in that group now. Uh, and a lot of these people are willing to help. They've already made eBay work. Uh, I'm quite active in the group. I can't answer every question because uh, there's, you know, I'm only one person, I'm only me. But I do jump in, I do try and answer as many questions as I can. Uh, you know, if you're stuck and you can't make any sales, uh, for example, uh, you can show me a listing uh, and you know I can give you some pointers. Uh, on top of that, you're gonna get an 11 thing cheat sheet. So those 11 things you have to get right. And I use this cheat sheet still today. Uh, so I put this cheat sheet next to my computer, I'm making my listings and I go through this cheat sheet and I make sure I make sure that um, all of these 11 things are implemented in every single one of my listings, because it's easy to forget, right? You know, you're making these listings uh, out of these 11 things. They're all super easy, you know, like getting the right photos, uh, getting the description right, uh, doing the right titles. You know, it's all simple, super simple stuff like that, but you've got to get them all right. Anybody can learn this stuff. So, um, you know, if you're thinking, can you do eBay? Almost anybody can do it. If you can write an email, if you can open up a computer, then you can do it. Anybody can do it. And in this program, it's all in video format, step by step. It takes you right from a complete beginner, and I'll take you all the way through, teaching you all the steps and everything that I've learned. And this stuff works. So I've got many testimonials. If you click the link down below, you can see some of the testimonials. And yes, it doesn't work for everybody. Some people are lazy. Some people procrastinate. Some people don't take action. So it doesn't work for everybody. I'd be lying. If I said you're guaranteed to succeed at this, I'll be lying but it's very low risk, and you can even try the free one. And I've got hundreds of people that, that, are, that are getting successful at selling on eBay. Many students making thousands and thousands every single month. So if you've got a crappy job, you've got a job you hate, and you want to jump, jump in the world of working for yourself from home, uh, then eBay is a perfect stepping stone. And then later on, once you make decent money on eBay, saying you're making, say, five to 10 grand a month on eBay, now you can risk spending some of that money on other businesses like Amazon FBA maybe, if that's what you want to do. Many people, they just sell on eBay and they're happy. They're happy with 10 grand a month. Some people make millions every month. It all depends how far you push it. It all depends how far you take it. But you can do this business from your home with a laptop. And um, you don't need any special skills. Anybody can learn it. And as I said, I'm always there to hand. You can always jump on the Facebook group. Uh, if ever you get stuck, you can jump on the Facebook group, ask questions and um, you know, I'm always there to help and other people on the course as well, you can kind of share ideas. So that is it for this video, links to both of these down below. Um, actually, I'm gonna give you a slight discount on the eBay program. So I'm gonna let a handful of people in, not too many, because most people are paid full price and it's not fair on the people that have paid full price to let too many people in at a discount. So I'm gonna, get a, I'm gonna let a small handful of you guys in, uh, a bit of a discount, quite a big discount actually. And um, you know, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So whatever the reason, if um, you don't like it, you have a look, have a look through and you think to yourself, you know what, it's not, to, not for me. You get 30 days where you can get a full refund. No questions asked. Super, super easy to get a refund. I've never denied anybody a refund. At the first section of the course, there's an email address. And you just send me one email, Kev, I want a refund. That is it, you'll get a refund. I don't care what the reason. Maybe you want to buy beer, maybe you want to go on holiday, vacation. I don't know and I don't care. You know, I'm only interested in having people in on this program that actually want to learn and actually actually want to make this work. And um, if you take action and you do what I teach you, then there's no reason why this can't be a success to you. And how much can you make? 
the sky's the limit. It's up to you how far you want to take it. You know, I'd be lying if I made you any promises. But what I can promise you that I've got many, many students making thousands every month, selling on eBay by going through the training and going by the steps what I've taught them. Uh, so that, that could be you too. There's no reason why that couldn't be you apart from your self-limiting uh, belief. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the people that say it can't be done. You know, those with a closed mind have the most open mouth. So, you know, don't listen, you know, somebody that doesn't know about making money, uh, don't take financial advice from them. You know, the same as, you know, if you want to learn how to play basketball, then you're not going to take advice from somebody that cannot play basketball. So if the naysayers are saying you can't work for yourself, it don't work, don't listen to the pessimistic people. You know, if, if they don't know how to make money, then you'll be silly to take advice from them. So I'm going to leave it here at this video. Link down below to the free eBay course. Link down below to the full blueprint, which will teach you everything that I've learned. So that's it for this video. Links down below. See you soon.